Hi everyone, my name is Anya. Welcome to Travelicious, my channel about traveling. Let's discover this world together. Poltava is not a huge city, but it does have something that will make you wow. Right now we are at the monument to Galushkas, a famous Ukrainian dish. This is a special kind of dumplings that can come with different toppings such as onions, mushrooms and sour cream. Today Galushka is a symbol of Poltava, as well as prosperity of Ukrainian family. Every year in June the citizens organize a grand fest to honor this delicious food and celebrate Ukrainian traditions. Let's go to the festival! There is a well-known story about Ukrainian women who fed the entire army of Peter I during the Russian-Swedish war just in a few days. Nikolai Gogol, a famous writer of Ukrainian origin, praised this dish in the pages of his works. rain in Poltava but it seems no one is going to leave the festival and I'm not surprised people in Poltava know how to celebrate life it is interesting to know that people whose surname is Galushka come to the festival from across the globe however the festival is open for everyone so don't hesitate to become his guest Моя ВП, моя вечірня Полтава, така вродлива, така ласкава, тиха і чиста, кохана величава. will last for the entire day. For me, it's time to go. I want to discover other places of Poltava too. Poltava is definitely the busiest street in Poltava. Packed with restaurants, stores and terrace cafes, it is just the right place for those looking to explore the pace of the local life. Did you know that this city is a famous historical spot? The Battle of Poltava of 1709 became a turning point in the history of Europe. The victory of Peter I over Swedish army led to Swedish Empire's eventual decline.
Can you imagine that this is the actual battlefield of that massacre? If you're a history buff looking for some really thrilling experience, you shouldn't miss a spot. The Museum of Poltava Battle is in close proximity. You might be interested in that too. The White Rotunda was built at the beginning of the 20th century and is also known as a monument of friendship. It is one of the most recognized landmarks of the city and is probably the best viewpoint. Budget accommodation with quality services is common in Poltava. I'm staying in a lovely hotel in a remote area, but not too far from the city centre. It's a place meant for relaxation, just the way I love it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, Poltava is a great city. If you happen to be in Ukraine, don't miss it out. Subscribe for more and remember to stay too delicious.